Utah mother speaks publicly about her son's death for the very first time. Police say Om Gandhi was killed by his father last May. His mom feels Utah's court system failed her family in how they weighed parent rights and child safety. KSL investigator Daniela Rivera reports she hopes a bill named for her son will help other families. Daniela? Well, Mike and Dini, our team has been reporting on concerns from Utah parents that claims in court of parental alienation are clouding custody decisions, potentially placing children in dangerous situations. That's what Ohm's mother was accused of before his father ended up with custody. A child at harmony with the world around him. His name means peace. He really was peaceful from the very beginning. Perceptive. Beyond his years, I think, in wisdom. Gifted. He played six different instruments. <laughs> and protective. He lived and he died protecting me and his sister. Leah Moses is speaking publicly about her son's death for the first time, hoping tragedy will inspire action. It needs to change now. There are kids who will today, tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, you know, be abused. They're in situations where they can't get out. Leah's 16-year-old son, Om Gandhi, was killed last year by his father, Parth Gandhi, who police say then took his own life. A horrific ending to a child custody case that dragged on for years. I don't think that anyone ever believed it would be this bad, even though this happens across the country. Now she's urging Utah lawmakers to support this bill seeking to boost training for judges. What domestic violence is, what coercive control means. The proposal would take other steps, she says, to codify best practices and keep the focus on child safety. I think there are abuses that are happening. Bill sponsor Senator Mike McKell says his reform bill would also include that judges in child custody cases consider evidence of domestic Domestic violence. To recognize science, best standards, best practices, it's stuff that's recognized in the medical community and the medical literature. Leah was on the same capital steps last year before her son died, advocating for similar changes. This time, the proposal is being called Ohm's Law. I mean, his name means peace, and that's really what this is after to try to bring more peace to families and especially to children. Opponents of this bill say it's an overcorrection that could exclude important evidence from these cases. These critics include a family law attorney who represented Ohm's father. He wrote to lawmakers urging them to vote against the measure. A hearing has not yet been scheduled, but our team is following this issue closely. Mike and Dini. Yeah, hopefully doing something to better protect these kids. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Danielle.